Good evening tight liners and welcome back to the channel. Fishing on my own tonight uh, in a well-known Mac um, that's well known for producing mackerel. But so what I've done so far is I've put one rod out and I put an up and over rig on there with a, a 3 o hook and a mackerel and squid bait. It's been out there about five, between five and seven minutes and it's now starting to show signs of life. And on the other rod, I've put some mackerel feathers on and I'm going to have a blast to see if I can find some fresh mackerel for the freezer. That's the plan. It's now quarter to nine. I'll fish until about half past 10, 11, and we'll see what happens. What's else about the dick with? Right. This one's had the knock on it. Not sure if it's doing anything serious yet, but let's have a look. Fish on, as you can guarantee you know what it is. is very much just like a doggy. I would be surprised if there's anything else. Although it seems to stay in fairly low compared to how doggies are usually. Staying really low. Oh, hang on a minute. Alright, this is a doggy. Wrapped up. Alright guys, fish number one of the session. A dogfish wrapped up. Hook is in the mouth, but it's also wrapped up. And I saw this weed and I was thinking, what was that? <laughs> Anyway, so far I've had about four or five casts with the mackerel feathers, nothing as yet. Get this unhooked, get it returned and get the bait back out there because I think I can use that bait again. Yeah, the hooked, just so slightly. And away it goes. Right, so, although I don't really want to be catching dogs, I knew there was a massive chance of that happening, of course, fishing in this particular spot. Um, I was hoping there might be something else there. I know that we can catch rays here, and there's just hus popping up around pretty much everywhere in Anglesey at the moment. So... Get this back out. That wasn't down there for very long. So I've left my mackerel feathers out there at the moment. They're just sitting on the bottom. You never know, that might just pick up a gurnard or anything like that. You just never know. Down there, clip this onto the hangover, and we're good to go. So it's not about that ass. Do you think all? Hello, sideliners. 
Very quiet on the macro front. Nothing doing as yet. Gotta be around somewhere. and macro tonight. Be really good. Just for some fresh bait for the next two sessions. Looking for that taupe. More rays. Can beat fresh bait. Wonderful rainbow over there now, over the cereal. So, what I'm doing, tight liners, is varying the distance of my cast and then I'm also varying the amount I'm letting it drop trying on the surface and halfway down three quarters of the way down looking to see if we find a shoal or two of macro they seem to be quite elusive at the moment Further, and I'm going to let this one go to the bottom. Speed of retrieve. Even some sand deal with the logs. Well, there's been a knock on this other rod now, again, you may be just be able to see it, oh there it is, <laughs> just as we speak, it's probably just another doggy, but it's been there a while, so I think it's time to do something about it before it really hooks itself too deeply. Like I said, 
nothing more than a doggy. The last one tricked me a little bit, staying very low. But it was all wrapped up and couldn't really swim, coming in backwards. Ah, it's just dropped off. Oh, no way. <laughs> Never mind. Just dropped off right by there. That was a bit unfortunate as well. It's only a doggy. It dropped off. Just uh, popped off. Anyway, um, I think I'll get a fresh bait on this. Um, I'll bring you back. Another bait on this one here now. It is only a doggy. Yeah, it's only a doggy. Yeah, it's only a doggy. But I don't want to even get into the habit of dropping them either. Not quite ready to commit itself yet. Well, I don't think there's many macro there. Are there any macro there at the moment? So what I might do is I might put a bait on the other rod as well. Try a three hook flapper, smaller baits. See if there's any smaller fish around. Um, the baits I have today, I've got some sardine. I've got macro. I've got a little bit of squid with me. Some sand eel. No worm baits, no crab baits. Anyway, that's all said about them dig with. So I've put the mackerel feathers away. There's no mackerel here tonight. Um, this rod's been bouncing again now with that uh, bigger bait on. Bring this in in a minute now, check the bait again. I was busy baiting up another one. So I've got the other rod in now with some sand deal and a bit of mackerel flapping. And it's already started to wipe on it. But let's bring this one in first. Because this one has been bouncing as well the last five or so minutes. The trouble is now is that it's going to be dogs all the time. There we have it guys, second dog of the session. And then this rod, this rod is already bouncing, so let's get that sorted. Get rid of this one first. Yeah, fish on again. They're very likely to be a dog. One small dogfish on a little bit of macro. That's three dogs for the session.
can we fish through them and see if there's anything else here? Right, come on now, give me this hook back. That's the way. So you do this bait up and it's good to go again. Push it back up the hook, in through there once more. Right, so that's three doggies that can arm a dig. Right, so I'm putting on a whole sardine, see if I can attract anything more than just a doggy. This bait has been really, really good so far this year. I've had her Russ, R Russ? <laughs> Huss and Ray's on it. Let's get it in. There goes the other rod. <laughs> Get it from the bottom. Let's deal with this one. Missed that bite somehow. Anyway, looking on a dig. Well, the bait that I put out now, the big sardine bait, that's that's been taken by something. Um, I do suspect that it is a doggy, but uh, you just never know. It could be something better. If you have a look now, this nearest rod. You can see it. Oh, there he goes. So I'm going to leave it. Give it some time. Just in case it could be a ray. Oh, that's a nice bite, that. Something's having fun with that. Anyway. Anyway, no more to dig. The scratching rig is going now as well. So bring this in. Give the big bait some time, but this one's only got size two hooks, so... That's on.
Well, another brace of dogfish. Um, and now it started raining too. So uh, anyway, I get these unhooked. I get a bait out again. Like I said, I wasn't going to stay very late. It was meant to be just to, oh, just to see if there's any mackerel and just happened to throw a bait or two in as well. So uh, that's five dogfish now. I saw a bit of a with doll. Well, guys, dog number six. Right, one more cast on each rod. I'm going home. No, no, dig. Well, dog number seven. Uh, I'm going to dismantle this one now. One more bait left in the water, and then I'll be going home. This is becoming another one of those doggy sessions. Don't really need that. Anyway, that's all. That's seven dogfish. No Oh well, nothing exciting. One more doggy, number eight. Time to go home. Calling that end of session. Eight doggies. Target species tonight, mackerel didn't appear. We'll have to try again another time. Um, next session, I believe, could be a going after mini species again. Um, anyway, so just more pesky doggy. <laughs> Until the next time, tight liners, keep your lines tight.